Top 5 Interesting Places to Visit in Denmark Did you know that the fairy tale Little Mermaid originated in Denmark? And ever since, it has gained a lot of controversy, even now in our present age, because of its movie remake. Hi, welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we're covering the top 5 interesting places to visit in Denmark. Join us to discover the controversy surrounding the Little Mermaid statue and watch out for an amazing discovery that is fascinating to visit. Our first location is in the capital city of Copenhagen, the National Museum of Denmark. This museum is the largest in the country, with collections of Denmark's history from the Stone Age to the present day. One of the top exhibits in the museum is prehistory. You can see the earliest history of the country with a wide range of artifacts like jewelry, weapons, and tools used by the earliest inhabitants. The Viking Age exhibit, on the other hand, shows their different ways of life, from conquests to trade to exploration. The Renaissance and the 19th century are specific time periods in the country's history. It showcases furniture, paintings, artwork, and even clothing. The museum's unique exhibit is the Ektfud Girl. A Bronze Age girl was buried in a burial mound in Denmark 3,000 years ago. In 1921, her remains were discovered, along with her jewelry, clothing, and hair, which are well-preserved and on display at the museum. These are just some of the many permanent exhibits in the museum. They also have temporary ones. As of now, the website does not list any temporary exhibits, but it will update the list as soon as they become available. You can take part in their interactive exhibits as well, like workshops or hands-on activities. These are perfect for families and children. Learning can sometimes be boring, but the museum has a fun way to present it to children. Tickets start at $16 for public guided tours and $18 for private tours, with an additional $162 for a group of up to 25. It is advisable to book in advance since tickets sell fast. Our next interesting destination is the Kronborg Castle. But before you visit, make sure you read the famous book by Shakespeare, Hamlet. It's about a tragic hero in Shakespeare's longest play with 29,551 words. Some rumors suggest that the author was inspired to write Hamlet by the castle's impressive history, leading to speculation that they may have visited the castle. The castle is mostly known as the Hamlet Castle, or in the book as the Elsinore Castle. The setting of the castle in the book is a bit dark, where anger and death are unavoidable and beyond human control. Although the story of Hamlet is fictional, the history behind the castle is entirely true. Built in the 16th century, Kronborg Castle played an important role in Danish history. It was one of the key fortifications, and it is strategically located at the confined point of Orisund. The water separates Denmark and Sweden, and it was an important center for commerce and trade. The most impressive feature of the castle is the Grand Courtyard, which is surrounded by sculptures, ornate statues, and towering walls. The Grand Ballroom and Royal Apartments are also open to the public. You can explore another fascinating part of the castle, the underground casemates, which were once used to keep prisoners. Aside from this, the tourists can see an amazing view from its ramparts, at the top of the castle is a panoramic view of the Orisund and the surrounding countryside. We mentioned earlier that Sweden is nearby, maybe you can see some parts of Sweden from this angle. Now, we don't want to feed you loads of information about the country's history, but learning about other cultures is fun. So, at our next location, we'll be exploring the vibrant and colorful Nihom in Copenhagen, Denmark. Built in the 17th century, it was a hub of trade, making it a busy commercial port. Right now, it has a range of shops, restaurants, cafes, and bars. These establishments are merchants' and sailors' accommodations, even warehouses. Props to Copenhagen for beautifully maintaining and restoring this colorful harbor. The harbor preserves and displays a collection of classic wooden ships and boats for tourists to see. The vibrant place is not just for a photo opportunity, there are also activities available for tourists. For $20, you can take a boat tour and explore the surrounding canals. If you choose to simply relax and enjoy the beautiful ambiance, do not miss the chance to taste a traditional Danish meal of smabel and herring. The smabel is an open-faced sandwich made with rye bread and a lot of toppings. It has a spread of creamy sauce or butter, then is topped with cheese, eggs, vegetables, pickled herring, roast beef, or smoked salmon. Herring is a common fish in the country and is usually served pickled. This perfect combo is a popular lunch in Denmark and will surely please your taste buds. I mean, what better way to enjoy this delicious meal than to have it while enjoying this stunning view of the harbor? Of course, we will show you another stunning destination to visit, the second largest city in Denmark, Aarhus. The Aarhus Art Museum is one of the most visited in the city. 
The museum has an impressive collection of modern and contemporary art. Their current temporary exhibitions are Arrow, The Power of Images with its colorful elements, and Cindy Sherman Tapestries, a selfie on a tapestry. Far From Home 2, one of the permanent exhibits, will leave you with a new definition of home. Installation art is another permanent exhibition that tourists can experience with its realistic feel. And to literally top off your museum experience, the visit to your rainbow panorama on top of the building will give you a 360 view of the city. Speaking of the view, the Aarhus Botanical Gardens have a serene view and atmosphere. The garden contains different plants from different habitats, making it perfect for a picnic spot. Yes, they allow picnics inside the garden. Just make sure to clean up after yourselves to help maintain the cleanliness of the garden. The last location you should not miss is the Old Town, an open-air museum with more than 75 historic structures and buildings that have been well-preserved. Walking to this open-air museum will make you feel like you are walking into the past. As promised, we will tell you about the controversy behind the Little Mermaid statue. But before we get into that, we will tell you a quick backstory about where it originated. Since Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale, the statue has become popular in Denmark. Like the Disney movie, the statue also sits on top of a rock by the water's edge. In 1909, Danish brewer Carl Jacobsen was inspired by the fairy tale and ordered sculptor Edvard Eriksson to create the statue. The sculptor used Jacobsen's wife as the model for the mermaid's face, which was unveiled in 1913. The statue had gone through a lot. The head was stolen, her arm was cut off, it was vandalized, and it even got blown up. Some motives are political, some are just the acts of two drunken men, and some motives remain a mystery. And just recently, although nothing happened to the statue, the movie, which was inspired by the original story, also had a lot of issues. What do you think? Is the statue or the story cursed? One thing is for sure. After all these misfortunes, the statue kept coming back and still remains one of the tourist spots. The statue is very accessible and free to visit, which also explains its mysterious happenings. We can't get enough of looking for more interesting tourist spots to visit, so here's a bonus location, the Iron Age. The body was found near the village of Kraubel in a peat bog. It was well preserved by the low oxygen levels and the acidic peat in the bog. Through deep study and analysis, the Visit the Crow Bell Man's well-preserved body at the Muscar Museum in Aarhus. Our team of dedicated travel and geography enthusiasts works tirelessly to bring you captivating videos that explore the beauty, history, and culture of countries across the globe. If you enjoy this video on Denmark, click here to watch our video on the top 10 best places to visit in Milan.